But now I come to think of it, most of the Formula One drivers I've met could bore a man to death at 400 paces. Does this mean then, to go really fast, you have to be a little bit dull? Or is there more to it? Well, someone who spent 40 years analyzing the speed elite is American psychologist Keith Jonsgaard. The profile that we see for race car drivers on jet fighter pilots are very, very similar, very different than uh, people in general and very different from people who engage in team sports. The pattern of their personality is kind of mildly psychopathic. They're sort of like uh, Clint Eastwood, you know, in the spaghetti westerns, cool, reserved, tough guy that doesn't get involved, rides off into the sunset. Yeah, it's true. Do you ever get excited by anything? I do, but uh, it needs a lot to get me excited. If I see my heart rate while I'm racing, it's pretty low. It's probably lower than what your, your one is right now. They're extraordinarily bright, probably brighter than 85 90 percent of the population i'm clever at the things that interest me i'm i'm very focused their greatest need is to be the best they they want to excel on this basis then michael schumacher is a typical formula one driver but the man who talks to him on the radio during races ferrari supremo ross braun thinks he's anything but typical Certainly, to my mind, he's the best driver uh, in Formula 1 at the moment. Uh, there's no doubt about that. So what then is Schumacher's magic ingredient? And Michael Schumacher has been left at the start. At the Spanish Grand Prix a few years ago, he got to the first corner in sixth place, and then he proceeded to show the world why he earns £67,000 a day. You very often see that in the wet, because in the wet, the car has a lot less grip. And that's where you need to get closer to the limit. That's where the skill really shows. A corner will last two or three seconds, and he can be making five or six corrections during that two or three seconds. If he's a tenth of a second too slow, the car will be out of control. Just watch the way his car shimmies. He's coming around these corners. He's driving the car almost over the limit, but he's bringing it back with each correction. Maybe he goes in a little bit too quick, he brings it back again, tries to push it again, brings it back again. The staggering thing about Michael is that he can function as a Formula 1 racing driver and then he has his spare capacity on top of that to think about the race, to think about uh, what's going on around him. Sometimes they'll come on the radio, it's like you and I having this conversation. You would think he was sat next to you, not doing anything. And Schumacher goes through! On the contrary, I've worked with drivers and it's... <laughs> Yeah, they're just about coping with what they're doing. There's no spare capacity. Uh, and that's the difference between him and other mortals. How can you feel that you've gone around the corner faster? What does it feel like? You feel the car on the edge. What does that feel like? You, you have the feeling for the optimum. It's a knowledge I, I have when, when the car is maximum. And Schumacher is there! Nipping through on the inside. And you can feel that. You can feel oh, yeah. in the car. You're you half a mile an hour faster yeah. and you're going to crash. I say it's probably a thousand of a second. And Michael Schumacher wins the Spanish Grand Prix. Frankly, Michael made the rest of the field look like monkeys. Now, part of that's down to his calmness, his experience, his well wired head, but also it's down to the final feature that racing drivers must have if they want to win. They feel a lot less guilt than most of us. And on that front, Michael Schumacher is the absolute king. In 1997, Jacques Villeneuve in the blue car had to beat him to win the championship. So Michael, as the replay shows, tried to ram him off the track. Jacques Villeneuve, and you bumped into him. Did you have guilt about that? No, not really guilt. I've been growing up with... Senna and remember incidents with Prost and Senna. Go! Ayrton Senna was the greatest racing driver of the generation before Schumacher, and he too would ram people off the track if he thought it necessary. This is amazing! Senna goes on! That makes Ayrton Senna world champion this year. 
That's why I don't, don't have the feeling I'm guilty for anything, because it's part of, uh, it was part of the game. I knew it wasn't right, but this is an important moment, everything or nothing, and you go for it. So that's it. To be the fastest, to be the best, to be a winner, you do what needs to be done, and to hell with the consequences.